Okay. Um, the directions uh, on the, the document are exactly what you need, but I wanted to show you visually um, the last few steps of how to migrate any PST archives you would have on your hard drive into Google. Uh, if you're like me, um, you did a lot of mail and you have a lot of stuff archived. I like to keep everything, so I've, I have a ton of archives. And I would love to have that in Google to quickly have it searchable and not have to look in multiple places. You can do that easily. Um, so let me show you how. So I just opened up my uh, Google Apps Sync for Microsoft Outlook profile and uh, finished syncing everything. So I'm going to close this. And we can see I'm in my inbox and all my folders in Google. I also have uh, my archive. This is everything I had done in, in 2010. Uh, there's a ton in here. Um, down here is a copy of it. I just made a subset so this would go quicker for demonstration. So I got some of my sent items. I got a documentation folder and a project I did with IBM. So three different folders of messages that I'd like to have put into Google. And uh, so let's, wherever that is, let, let's see where that is. Because one thing, uh, as I've helped people, sometimes it's tricky to find where this is. So let's do data file properties. If you click on advanced, the file name, it'll show you where. This is on a virtual machine, but uh, otherwise it would say C colon. And I can see it's in my documents, big stuff, Outlook archive, archive dash crew. All right, so that's the one I want. I know where to find it. So I'm going to close this because we're going to migrate using the tool we just installed. In fact, it's a tool you just used uh, if you wanted to bring over notes or tasks or journal entries. Uh, so we're going to click on this again. Google Apps Migration for Microsoft Outlook. This is Google Apps Migration. Click on that. Sign in. Okay, now instead of using your original Alec profile or your new Google one, select from PST. I'll bring up my, see I've kept everything, but here's the one we want, Archive Crew. And I selected that, select next. What do you want to bring in? I did an archive calendar contacts. I just did email messages, but you could leave those. And I, there wasn't anything in uh, junk or deleted items, but you could also bring those over if you wanted. We're going to click Migrate. And so, won't do anything on these, but notice I had 48 messages. I made it small so it wouldn't take too long. Uh, so let's click over here so we can see what's going on uh, in Google. Alright, so the labels haven't come over yet, so great. So let's We'll let this finish here. What I'm looking for is uh, you'll see some labels along the side here of what happens. So um, let's refresh this. See if we can see it live as they're coming in. I'm doing this on IE in my virtual machine. I did install Chrome. Much better to have Chrome. Oh, there. So they did show. So they show up even before it's done migrating, but there we go, it finished. And I see labels with my PST file name, slash, if you just uh, let your mouse uh, hover for a second. Oh, bummer, it does this in Chrome, I won't do it in IE. Um, if I click on it, we can see that this is my archive crew.psc. This is my documentation folder. There's all those files. This one is my IBM and this last one is my sent items. And so those are all they're all in Google. This is interesting so there's already labels so that means Google figured out that that message was actually a duplicate and instead of duplicating it it just added the additional labels. So um, it's really smart. Uh, it's not going to duplicate things as it, as it brings it in. So um, that's great. So we're done. Your archives will just come over. 
Um, hope that helps.